Okay, so we're in the lower Glen Rose at the Canyon Lake Gorge, and we're looking at Acanthosaurus footsteps, and they're about two or three times as big as a regular person's trip, and our guide just pointed out that not only are the steps down, but they squish up the earth in front, and what's interesting is you try... The gate is really big. But you can see the alternating right, left, right, left. So it was definitely two-legged. And I just left a footprint. <laughs> Head on over towards Brian and that stairway. I have one quick question unrelated yeah. to the dinosaurs. How high does that gauge measure? Oh, Do you know? <laughs> I don't know off the top of my head. Does anybody have binoculars or can see it through their camera? I tried. I could. Couldn't see it? I don't know. I, that's something I should find out, but... Our tubes in. We don't want to lose them again, really. <laughs> I'm going to get it this way. I guess we came back and did Hang on, Linda. I want to get... So it's about twice... It's about two... We're in Canyon Lake Gorge this morning and we're looking at a really fossiliferous bed, which I believe is the Corbulina bed made of these very tiny organisms that uh, their shells and it's the boundary it's a significant marker bed and it's useful because it helps separate the lower and upper Glen Rose and a friend of ours um, Robert Pavlovic in the 1950s went all through the hill country mapping the surface elevation of this significant marker bed so he could get an idea of what the structures were uh, beneath this and I also believe it's a major transgressive surface so it brings in on this one horizon all of these fossils they're everywhere there's millions of them, billions of them they're like clams mm -hmm. and we're gonna see more okay yeah I bumpiness was created by all of those little clams um, slowly dissolving their own little tube in the rock. And there are species of clams that uh, are farther down. So if you notice it as we get farther down, then raise your hand tell me. When you're a master naturalist, you get excited over birds, butterflies, antelope, horns, bugs, what yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the... The jeep would take the tops out of both of them. And Every time there was a stream flowing, we stopped. People just couldn't understand. Yeah. The <laughs> okay. Most of these, the actual shell isn't gone and isn't here anymore. We do find some, like some types of oysters that still have a shell preserved. I'm gonna take that one. <laughs> 